Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about how deep the Siege meta goes. Now, I am not a professional Siege player, but um, the way that I play Siege, it just I pick up video game stuff really fast. Alright, I really like um, contact sports, combat contact sports, and I understand them pretty well. So it's like natural for me to like understand this stuff in video games. So. Um, when it comes to Siege, um, there's a surface meta, right? Map knowledge, you gotta know the map. Um, which walls to reinforce, which places to attack. That's all normal. But what adds on to Siege's gameplay is, um, there's something in my eye, uh, is the operators, right? So let's just pick, um, we'll pick two operators, Mute and Hibana. Hibana, you have to understand how to aim her Kairos pel- I'm gonna call it fidget spinners, okay? You gotta understand how to aim the Habana fidget spinners. With playing Habana, you have to understand all the combinations you can use them. Kill holes, hatches, you can use two of them to make crouch way, or if you have a Montang, the big ride shielder, three for him to walk through. But then if you use this, those three, you can't get the hatches. So you have to understand Habana and her gadget and all the uses it has. Also, you need to understand her gun, but all the guns in Siege are pretty much pretty easy to understand, like a standard shooter game. Then when you have Mute, you have to understand how to place your four Mutes, and if you know the enemy has a Habana, how to place them so that Habana can't use her gadgets correctly. Or you know how to place them so that in case she shoots one of them, maybe you have an extra one or a hidden one. Maybe you place them so that she can't shoot them, but you understand that there's a wall that she can break, right? Those are just two operators. When you get to the five on five, this is where the meta gets really deep. You have to understand how every operator on your team works and the enemy in its fullest. So let's say the enemy team has a Habana. You have to understand everything about Habana. Jackal, you have to understand everything about Jackal. Then they have a Twitch, you have to understand everything about Twitch. Let's say they have a Blitz, you have to understand everything about Blitz. And then they have a, let's just say a Capiteo. You have to understand everything about a Capiteo. Not only do you have to understand how every enemy operator works, then you have to understand how all of them work together, right? Maybe as soon as Habana's Habana thing goes off, Capiteo shoots a smoke grenade or a smoke crossbow, Twitch's drone drives through and shoots a mute jammer so that Habana can blow up the wall on the other side, right? These are. That's just the thing that you have to understand. Then you have to understand how every operator is going to act versus different types of surfaces. Maybe the wall isn't reinforced. Maybe it is. You got to understand how all that stuff works. Then you have to understand how the same thing, but with your defending team, how that all works, or your attacking, you know, whatever, how the uh, attacking and defending team works. Then you have to understand how it works when every operator dies. Right, Capitale's fast, so when he dies, you can expect slightly slower flanks from any of the up other operators, right? Maybe your mute dies and he had some extra mute jammers. You no longer get those, right? This is all this stuff that you have to understand. Now, the game also gets really scary if you're in an information stage, like the droning stage or the beginning like 30 seconds of a match and you don't understand what operators the enemy team has. Let's say you're on attack and you there's like two unknown operators. You have to then understand how all the operators work and either just somehow mentally manage as if those two were any combination of any set of operators or use deduction skills to then figure out what kind of operators they have that the enemy team has right it's this all this stuff that dude i only understand this because i play the game so much like this is stuff you can't study you just have to play the game and i still to this day i think i've played something like one to two thousand hours of siege I know if you count stuff I've watched and stuff I played, it's one to two thousand hours. And still, I like get caught off guard by this or that or the other thing. Something simple like the other day I was playing 
and some guy like was behind a wall and I peeked saw him and peeked again but he was actually moving to the other wall so he like baited me I didn't know about that and I didn't know about that on that specific wall it's like things like that that you just need to understand and of course there's the standard video game metas of like hiding points cover points all that stuff added to the siege meta it's crazy but guys I would like to know is the siege meta too complicated for you to want to spend time to understand it or do you see it as a monumental challenge that you're going to conquer. I would love to know all your thoughts about it in the comments below, guys. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam a post of whatever I decide to make.